The village of La Pintada has almost been wiped off the map by tropical storm Manuel. 68 people are missing and fear dead after a mudslide tore through their homes. It happened on Mexican Independence Day earlier this week, but so cut off was the community by the floodwaters that it took two days before survivors could alert the authorities. Fifteen bodies have already been pulled from the mud. Many more are still believed to be buried. I heard a loud noise, and I just stood there. I saw how the dirt and the dust began to billow up. It was like black smoke, and it turned like a windmill. Meanwhile, the storm is continuing on its destructive path north. Having seen the devastation Manuel wrought further south, the authorities in states such as Sinaloa and Baja California are preparing for the worst. We're prepared in the state. There are already temporary refuge centers in the south, the capital and in the north. Here in the capital we have 18 refuge centers and we're preparing six more. In Los Cabos there are 10 and another 10 in Cabo San Lucas. The majority of the deaths from tropical storm Manuel took place in Guerrero, now a scene of utter devastation. The floodwaters destroyed roads and bridges and left many residents stranded. This is the first time there has been such a combination of two powerful storms, Manuel to the west and Hurricane Ingrid to the east since the late 1950s. The government has made almost a billion dollars available in emergency aid for the affected regions, and the military and the Mexican Red Cross are trying to coordinate relief efforts on both fronts. But their work has been complicated by the continuing severe weather. Many Mexicans are trying to fend for themselves as best they can under the circumstances. The coming weeks look bleak for many parts of the country.